Uh, it's been a great experience, uh, you know, getting to play against great talent, you know, uh, really like building the chemistry of the team, you know, getting to know a lot of my teammates, even though I won't see a lot, a lot of them during the season, you know, there's still some people on the team that I'm going to see, so just building up the chemistry, you know, getting a feel for the coach, you know, the coach getting a feel for me, you know, seeing how we both uh, operate on the court, you know. Is, were you looking forward to playing tonight? And is it some ways a compliment that uh, the coaching staff felt that you produced and they've seen enough for this point in time to give you the night off? Um, you know, you always like to play, you know, if you love basketball, you know, especially if you're sitting on the bench and watching your teammates play, you know. Just being a competitor, you want to be out there, especially when the game's close uh, during the end of the game, you know. But, you know, it, I think it's, it's a great feeling that they uh, – feel the reason for me to sit down, you know, and just rest my body, you know, because they know that I played my heart out since I've been here, so. Do you feel that you accomplished what you wanted to work on this summer league? Um, I believe so. I show people just uh, how, how quickly my, my skill set has developed and transitioned to the NBA, uh, like the NBA, how the NBA operates, you know, um, just like more one-on-one -on -one stuff, you know, creating space, and I think that's what I really show people I can do. Can you kind of get a feel for how much everything has changed in the last week? I mean, it was just last Friday when you guys are starting out here and mm -hmm. LeBron, you know, makes his announcement. And it's, it's kind of been an overdrive ever since. Yeah, uh, it's been crazy, but uh, it's all positive stuff, you know. With LeBron coming back, you know, there's nothing negative about that at all. You know, best player in the world coming to your team. So it's just a great feeling, you know. And, you know, the organization is on the rise right now. Andrew, the, I mean, the Cavs can't control when in the media certain players' names pop up yeah. in reports. So the situation that's been reported on with uh, Kevin Love and all that, is that on your radar? Is that unsettling? And has the team said uh, to you to, to maybe give you a clarity? Uh, not really. I let my like my agent and my and my support system, my support system really handle that. You know, I just love playing the game of basketball. I know the NBA is a business, so. Yeah, how do, how do you handle it when people ask you about it? Or maybe even family and friends saying, hey, Andrew, I heard about this, I heard it, like, is it uh, distracting at all? Uh, not at all, you know, if it's someone important, like your family or friends, you know, you kind of tell them what you know, but if it's not, it just goes through one or the other. Wor worried about, were you worried at all? No, uh -huh. I just play basketball, man, wherever I go. Andrew, do, you, do you think about playing next to LeBron? It would be, it would be great um, for me, you know, just really learn and really pick his brain and and, s and see what it takes to get to his level. So uh, it would be good. So they haven't said anything to you as far as, you know, the veracity of any of the stuff that's out there? The message uh, has been that nothing to me. you're going to be in a Cavs game. I just know. I just know what you know. I just see what you see on TV. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs>